right, so <laughs> here we are. We're playing Quantum Chess. It was quite an adventure to actually get the game up and running. <laughs> Uh, Steam uh, sort of had an aneurysm and one of my good buddies had to buy the game for me. Um, and so for a while there, I both owned the game and didn't own the game, very thematically appropriately. Uh, as anyone who's come to the channel ever knows, um, I'm a quantum physicist. I, I do quantum physics research. I'm doing a PhD in quantum physics. Uh, that means two things. A, uh, the subject matter is incredibly appropriate and interesting to me. Like I really want to figure out what the hell quantum chess is and what it means and whether it like faithfully recreates in a way that I find uh, to be satisfying the principles of quantum mechanics into the you know mechanics of chess. Uh, but two, uh, it means that if I lose, <laughs> Uh, chat will give me endless shit for like the rest of the week or month, certainly stream, possibly my streaming career. Uh, this could be career ending. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel already an immense amount of pressure. Uh, to be very clear, I've never seen this game before. I have no idea what it's like. I can sort of imagine what Quantum Chess might mean, but you are going to see me live <laughs> discovering what this game is and what it has to offer. Uh, well, let's, let's hop into it. Uh, Who could blame you? Okay, I, I was instructed to start the game similar to 5D Chess. You, you, you don't just jump in, right? I don't know what the mechanics are. We're gonna do the puzzles. Hopefully they'll teach us what the hell the actual game is. Um, let's see, let's figure this out. Whoa, what am I looking at? Okay, is there lore? Are we getting quantum lore right now? Oh, I'm so invested already. The journey of this pawn, question mark? I'm enthralled. Oh, what a, what a UI, dude. Oh my God, putting, putting 5D chess to shame. I do enjoy the ambiance. Uh, um, and like styling of, of 5D chess. Your opponent's knight is threatening your queen. Uh, are, are these both my queen? Are they, find a move that saves the queen 100% of the time. All right, you got, okay. Why do I have two queens? Was, was there a read me that I could have done at the beginning? <laughs> Was there anything that uh, you discovered quantum chess? I was challenged. Um, oh, I gotta, I, I guess I should put my face somewhere else to, oh, but now I'm looking the wrong direction. Okay, we'll do a, we'll do a quick boom. P professional streamer. Uh, how the hell, oh, the chat is still gonna, whatever. <laughs> Chat's gonna stay in that corner. Find a move that, okay, so this is upon, these are both queens. My question is how the hell this game works. Uh, you can make quantum moves by holding click above two pieces or two move squares. Just finished my stream. Oh, congrats, Joseph. <laughs> Hope it was a good one. Hope you enjoyed. Um, there's a guide on the website. Okay, maybe what we do is check the guide first. So I'm not, okay, look at this. All right, okay. Okay, learn more how to play. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Game state, all right, okay. Quantum chess uses all the same pieces and the same starting positions as classical chess. Allows all pieces to exist in superposition where they can occupy more than one square at a time. This is shown by a ring indicating the probability that the piece will be found in a given square by a measurement. All movement in the game is done according to the rules of quantum mechanics. This means there's a lot of math under the hood and sometimes the outcome of a move might be counterintuitive. The goal has been to design the game so that players don't need to understand any of the math in order to learn how to play. We hope that through play, the counterintuitive... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Quantum chess pieces follow all the same movement patterns as those in standard chess, including moves like castling and on croissant with the following caveats. There's no concept of check, so the king can move into or castle through what would be considered check in classical chess. And a square occupied by a piece in superposition does not block standard moves. This means that for example, a knight can move to a square that is occupied by a piece of the same color in superposition, or a queen can slide through a piece. Oh, okay, so if you, probably if you do something that omits um, like a certain possibility, like if you move a piece onto a piece of the same color that's in superposition, then it like collapses at least part of the wave function to make the piece exist in the other place, right? If I had to guess, I don't know. Let's keep, let's keep reading. All non-pawns can perform a split move. Fucking anti-pawn movement over here. 
Uh, this move allows the piece to split and occupy two different target squares that it can reach. Only squares that are unoccupied or are occupied by a piece of the same color and type are considered legal targets. This means a white knight may split to a square occupied by another white knight. It also means a split move cannot be used to capture opponent pieces. Merge move. All non-pawns can perform a merge move. This move is designed to undo a split move. Okay, so it like collapses, I guess, the superposition. Only squares that are unoccupied or are occupied by a piece of the same color and type are considered legal targets. Okay, this means two white knights may merge to a square occupied by another white knight. Why, why would you do that? Do you not... Do you not lose a knight by doing that? It also means a merge move cannot be used to capture opponent pieces. Okay, measurement. Anytime a move targets a square that's occupied by a piece of a different type and color, the game will perform some measurement. This means it will look at certain squares on the board to determine if they're occupied or empty. This could cause some of the superposition to collapse so that pieces are no longer in superposition, which makes sense. Measurements are designed to answer a specific yes or no question. If the answer is yes, the move is then performed. If the answer is no, no further action is taken, and play passes to the next player. What? Note that in this case, the state of the board will still be changed through superposition collapse. Oh, okay. There are two different movement scenarios to consider. Okay. Is this, is this deterministic? Still unclear. During an attempt to capture, the game will measure the square occupied by the piece that's being moved. And for sliding pieces, any square in the path between the source and target that is occupied by piece in superposition. The measurement answers the question, is the attacking piece present? And can it reach the target? Note if the answer to that question is no, it doesn't necessarily mean that the attacking piece is not present, nor does it mean the path is blocked. It could be for no for either reason. So you may see probabilities change to reflect that both are more likely. Uh, no, it's not deterministic. Urgently give you while well, Cement reads rules, I download a game and win it to get my points. Uh, wow, okay. A lot of check W's. Uh, you can play quantum chess without making any quantum moves. So basically, like normal chess. Merge moves can only be done by superpositions of the same piece. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not deterministic? That's Sag. What I really appreciated about Hoff Schrodinger chess. Uh, which is the quantum chess implementation that hasn't actually been implemented, is that it was totally deterministic, um, but still quantum. If both players only play normal moves, it's just normal chess, but without check. God does not play quantum chess with the universe. <laughs> Einstein, probably? Okay, okay. All right. Exclusion. If a move target is occupied in superposition by a piece that cannot be captured by the move being performed, <laughs> if a move target is occupied in superposition, by a piece that cannot be captured by the move being performed, we call it an exclusion move. In this case, the game will measure the target square and for sliding pieces, any square between, any square in the path between the source and target that is occupied by a piece in superposition. The measurement answers the question, is the target square empty and can the moving piece reach the target? Okay. Note if the answer to that question is no, it doesn't necessarily mean that the target square is occupied. Nor does it mean the path is blocked. It could be no for either reason. So you may see the probabilities change to reflect that both are more likely. I Is it just me or is this worded as lexically inefficiently as possible? How would it be deterministic? Aren't probabilities like amplitudes and amplitudes like extensions of the same metaphor? Uh, I, I think it's best if I don't get into it right now, but we can, we can chat about it later. Um, okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving along. Castling, a special note for castling. Castling always involves two targets, and so a measurement will occur for both targets. Castling cannot be used to capture, so it will always be an exclusion measurement. Winning, the game is won by capturing your opponent's king. This means your opponent has no king left anywhere on the board, it's possible for any piece king included to exist in a superposition of being captured and not captured. 
The game will continue until you can say with certainty that one player has no king. Note that it is possible to find the game in a state where both players lose their king on the same turn. In this case, the game is considered a draw. Okay, so if like the same measurement results in neither player having a king, that makes sense. Okay, the problem is... I, I have multiple ideas about what this could be saying is how the game works, but I'm not positive that I understand based just on these words. Uh, I'll reread Capture and then we'll just go straight into the game and try to figure it out, you know, get, get, get our hands dirty. During an attempt to capture, the game will me measure the square occupied by... This is very poorly worded, but okay. The, measure the square this measurement answers the question is the attacking piece all right what let's just jump let's let's jump into this okay the opponent's knight is threatening your queen find a move that saves the queen 100 percent of the time okay here's my question if i move one of these two queens now uh and this knight goes there to like cap if i do like this and this knight captures this queen here I understand the wording, but I'm a mathematician. I'm also a mathematician. <laughs> I think once you start playing it, Samantha, it won't be difficult. I also think that's probably true. But what if he takes here, then does my queen, does it like do a roll? Or, well, obviously there's a way to do it so that it doesn't do a roll. Um, but, or does it do like the outcome that's favorable for me? Or does it, like how do work? Um, I don't know what holding did. Uh, holding does this thing uh, where this happens. Oh, okay. This isn't at all clear to me why this happened, but what I can do is, I guess with the merge move is what this is. So if I hold here, which I just did on a whim and did not read is a thing that I could do, then I can click from that queen onto this queen and they both can move to the same place together. Uh, but my question is why, like what, what operation would happen? So, okay. If I move this queen here, this knight tries to capture this queen, is it just a 50-50 whether my queen gets captured? Is that how it works? All right, I'm back. Did you derive the standard model Lagrangian yet? Not quite. Mostly makes sense and I'm a CS. I also have a CS degree. It doesn't make sense to me on any of these levels. It's a 50-50 yes? Aw, that blows. <laughs> but okay. I have a linguistics degree and it makes sense. All right, that's where I, that's where I fucked up. <laughs> let me let me pull it up real quick and try to read it. Maybe this will merge move is designed to undo a split move. Only squares that are unoccupied but occupied by peace. This means two white knights may merge to a square occupied by another white knight. Must means merge move can be captured. All right, okay, <laughs> sure. Anyway, we f we figured it out. So okay, what you can do is so is it only if two pieces that are in superposition that are the same piece and color if they can go to the same square then you can undo the split and just make it put them both on the same square yeah knight will capture half of your queen uh you only did one you bro how many degrees do you get in america uh i i did a triple major double minor uh, as at uni, as an undergrad. Uh, I have degrees in mathematics, physics, and computer science uh, with two minors uh, in, in astronomy and statistics, respectively. Uh, and none of them equipped me to understand the wording that attempted to explain the rules of the game to me. Um, but to answer your question, there we go. Uh, yeah, when I said it made sense, I thought, okay, so split moves are kind of Hadamard gate. Something, something, quantum loop, gravity, something, something, strings. Oh, yikes. <laughs> not, not, a, not, not a quantum gravity guy, incidentally. It would be resolved when your queen is measured. Yeah, but what action? No, doesn't like the act of the capturing do a measurement? Or maybe not. There's no reality in which your queen can get captured is the logic behind it, kind of. Wait, the, but that's not... 
how many majors do you usually get? Uh, pe people, people usually get a single major for the most part. Sometimes I think double majoring is less common by a lot than single majoring. Um, well, let's not, we're not, we're not here to go into my educational background, but evidently if two of the same piece that are in a superposition can move to the same square, then that's how, that's how it goes. I don't understand how this isn't whatever. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to go with it. Like, I understand the mechanic, but I haven't intuited the implications of it. Man, I should have gone to America. Well, you can't do it at, you know, I went to a school where it was possible to do that because I got a lot of credits before and I took class, like university classes before university. And I did like a billion AP exams and that gave me like credit. And, you know, like if I had gone to like an Ivy League institution, then I couldn't triple major, uh, you know, so like it's not, it sounds more impressive than it probably is. Um, but yeah, some of this very intuitive for someone involved in languages, apparently. Hey, I'm glad. Uh, it's fantastic. Here I am getting bored with just math. Couldn't do the double PhD. But yeah, but what is usual for a 5D Twitch stream audience? Yeah, that's true. This two queens were entangled or something like that? I don't know. Um, like, I understand that this is the move, but I don't understand how the mechanics of... I, I, I don't understand how this fleshes out like a greater mechanistry... Uh, of sort of quantumness. To me, the instructions are intuitive. Sadly, didn't go for a double PhD as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we solved the first puzzle. I'm I'm unsatisfied, but apparently, all of chat got this a lot quicker than I did. <laughs> Which hats off. Um, white to play. Try to capture a rook in two moves. Uh, white to play. Try to capture a rook in two moves. Now, I don't know what the buttons are. How do you split? D did that do it? Right click, question mark. Uh, or hold, okay, so left click hold is merge, I guess. Right click is split, maybe. I don't know what this designates. What does this designate? Did I skip a UI thing? No, same as merge move. Oh, wait, so like if I, if I do this, will it, no, that's normal. Uh, I would like to, yeah, okay. So it definitely wasn't uh, the same as merge move. Um, so I was certainly lied to just now. Uh, I don't know what right click does though. Click and hold targets. But when I did the merge move, I clicked and held. No, like if I click and hold here and then do this. Okay, so, so noise just fucking with me. Uh, what if I right click and then click? No, that's normal. We'll figure out the UI eventually, guys. Um, question mark. Just click until it works. All right, if we normal click, that's just normal chess move. You know, click piece, then click and hold targets. Click piece, then click and hold targets. I see, okay. So, there we go. All right. Now, I guess this knight gets to capture this rook. Yeah. Okay. So it's not, so to clarify, you click and hold, you, you click the piece, but then you hold the different target squares that you want to split it between. Can you only really split it like two? Um, or can you split it like a bunch? Could I split it like a billion different ways? Watched a vid on quantum chess a long time ago. <laughs> I think the rules were different back then. All right. Well, we. I guess we. I guess we found it. Um, we captured. That's the right idea. Maybe next time. Oh, okay, okay. So that didn't work. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click here. We're gonna threaten both of the. I guess you can only split it, like to two. Two per move. Rule said two. All right. There we go. Uh, okay. So then maybe now we do a merge move. Oh, no, it has to be a square they can both go to, right? Uh, Oh, do I just try it again because it's probabilistic? Question mark. Uh, is it genuinely RNG? Do I just do it again? Okay. So whenever it's a superposition, either you lose the turn because you rolled the wrong knight being like where the knight actually is, or you successfully do the move. I see. Okay. Uh, I mean... I'm going to verdict a little early here and say I am 
unsatisfied with the quantumness of this game. <laughs> but okay. Uh, all right. All right. I mean, we're now okay. I'm. I am slowly understanding. I, I, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh my gosh. There's also RNG involved in the game. Chess and RNG. What's next? Vegas odds on spin states. Uh, if there's other pieces in superposition betw in between, it will further decrease the odds. Yeah, because you have to roll success every time, right? There are possible realities in which a piece blocks your move. That I get. That I get. Um, white to play. Try to capture a rook in two moves. All right, so here, uh, this pawn blocks the splitting of this knight uh, to here and here. So we're going to split like this. Um, I just roll, right? It's the same. There's nothing different about this. Because there's no way, right? I just... Um, again, fucking RNG screwed in the tutorial please try the other one all right my bad i I, sh I should have captured the same rook twice obviously that's how probability works all right well third time's the charm okay very nice so Matt never tossed a coin in his life i'm not a gambling man that's just not how i do you should try to split before the pawn i wasn't satisfied with how the puzzles worked all right we're gonna okay that puzzle wasn't sufficiently different than the other puzzle. Uh, I made a rant in the Quantum Chess Discord server. This game should handle probability differently. Let's see. Okay, I'm a per I've I've already given it shit, but what I do want to do is sort of give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, <laughs> we're gonna we're 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 gonna um, we're, we're we're gonna see how it plays before we really start talking shit about the game. Uh, okay, okay. White to play. Try to capture the queen or king in two moves. Okay, well, obviously we're set up here for like a skewer, right? Um, or a pin, I guess, because the this is the can't we're not hitting that one. Uh, so we probably split the bishop, uh, right? Okay, wait. Uh, let me let me think this through. If I split the bishop like anywhere and here, if wait, if I do like this, okay, it has to move both times. Um, and this fail, like if I pull the bishop here, what's gonna happen is there's a if it goes here, there's a 50/50 chance that my bishop will reappear elsewhere, right? So this is still just super probabilistic. So like if I do this, for example, I have to hope that I roll having, oh. This is still in superposition. So in that situation, could I have rolled that he takes my bishop? And if so, why was my bishop still in superposition after the capture happened? Imagine creating a force made in five, moving your queen to checkmate and the opponent's king and it disappears, yeah. So 50-50 for pawn to capture you instead of 50-50 to select the right knight? Okay, I misspoke when I said better odds. <laughs> oh, I see. Maybe you should improve your odds by letting the pawn try to take you. I don't, I don't think that was an improvement, was it? I think you could have rolled that you had no bishop. The queen was there if your bishop was there or not. Because there's a 50% chance, chance you didn't move there. Yeah, I think there's no entanglement in this, right? I think it's evident that there's no entanglement. I think measurement wasn't performed when queen took your bishop. If the bishop was there, the queen takes. If not, queen moves. Ah. But then... So when I captured the queen, it was a 50-50 at that stage. Is that right? It must be. Okay, so it does the role of whether or not I have a bishop when I take the queen not when the queen takes me. Um, I don't think it's real entanglement. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's fake entanglement, yeah. I think that you you don't violate the chess bells inequalities here. Uh, but I don't, I don't know, okay. All right, well that worked. Okay, we're, <laughs> it's taken us way too long to work through these. 
I, I, I'm, I'm not super satisfied yet. Measure on conflict? Queen takes isn't conflict. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Black to play, save your king. Well, there's a 50-50 chance. So if I take this and he tries to recapture... If I take this rook and he tries to recapture, I have like a 50-50 shot of winning. Is that what the puzzle is, right? Uh, or, or can I split the king? I guess I could split the king. Um, if I split the king... All right, hold on. Oh no, I have to move. Oh, what if I split move? Because then if captures... Okay, what happens if a split captures a split? Then it... Because the UI doesn't demonstrate that there is like a history of what happens on the squares in like an obvious way. I think you can get 100% here. Save 100%. No, because I think if you capture successfully, it goes up to 100 for recapture. Why would it go up to 100 for recapture? Like, for example, when you move queen through pawn that is half there, doesn't it entangle a thing? Yeah, I. it's not clear to me whether it does. I wish that there was like a series of examples that demonstrated that uh, in, in a way that <laughs> could just make it more clear. If you split, there's no guarantee the rook can take your king in the corner. Um, yeah, but there's still a possibility, right? So that's not 100%. You always capture successfully, but the opponent might not have a rook. Goes to 100 because the superposition collapses. I think you guys are just saying stuff. I It has been claimed that there, you can split and that's 100%. Okay, well, let's let's do the... Uh, oh, you can't split and capture. You can only split on move. Uh, I guess let's split on move. You mean sure you'll king, your king will survive one more turn? Yeah, but who gives a fuck? Right? If, it, if you save it one more turn, sure. No, I get that when the rook captures one of those kings, it doesn't collapse. Okay, well, I, I get it. I Because he can't force a collapse of the superposition the next turn. Uh, what do you mean? The other version, you lose 50% of the time? No, I get it. Uh, I'd rather take keeping half a king. Probably. But you keep half a king, so you're still losing 50% of the time in the future. So it doesn't really matter. It's like, okay, do you want to, like, know whether or not you win now or later? Like, it's still, the decision is still locked in to be made, no? Unless somehow I'm having just the most trouble of anyone here understanding how this works. Well, this should be a thumbnail for when you use a king time travel in a lost position. You don't... You just don't take with your king. Uh, you can keep the half king forever. But if he like captures with a with his other with his remaining rook or whatever, um, how will the opponent measure the king? No, that's what I'm saying. If you like force a measurement on the rook, won't it like follow like transitively force a measurement on the king? Can't the opponent? Does it only get measured? when the opponent captures. Like if this happens and then this rook capture happens, then can't you do like a rook capture here and it forces to figure out whether the opponent still has a king? Am I, am I wrong about that? You'll be glad when you later suicide your half king into their eighth king. <laughs> am I, am I, do, do I just not understand how this works? Which site is this? This isn't a site. Uh, this is a game on Steam. It's called Quantum Chess. It's uh, it's ten bucks. 
But that's actually worse than 50%, I think. Yeah, but then actually just taking is straight 50%. You know? So it's better to take the draw than the half king take on eighth king? Oh, that's what he's talking about. Capturing kings doesn't measure. I understand that capturing the king doesn't measure, Sonoya. <laughs> However, if you then suicide your half a rook into one of their rooks and they recapture your rook, does that not... What's the catch of quantum chess? That's what we're trying to figure out, Blundermaster. <laughs> Which that's what we're trying to figure out right now. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I, I've, everyone else in the chat claims to understand precisely how this works, and to their credit, it is completely possible that they are correct. Uh, okay, so I'm not late. Not at all. Not at all. Half transparent as well until the RNG collapses. So why would you recapture? Well, then the, their half rook could just gobble up all of your full rooks. No? Quantum chess variant where each player starts with three and a third kings. I don't understand it precisely. Thank you for your honesty, Andre. <laughs> all right, okay, hold on. White to play, try to capture the king in two moves. You probably split. I guess that's the only way that you Because if you just move, then there's no, you know, there's no point, right? Um, so it's obvious that this is the only move. But wait, then how does it... Okay, so... Uh, oops, I definitely didn't mean to do that. Uh, I meant to split. Um, doesn't really matter where we split, does it? Let's just do this, maybe? Okay. So now it's exactly what happens in this. So now we get to see what actually happens. Uh, so if this rook... If this rook takes this king... Oh, next time, try to keep the king from splitting. Ah, he can't split onto... You can't split capture, so that's what the puzzle is saying. Okay, so if you split here, then he has to take. And now we have a 50-50 shot of winning, right? Um, yeah? Question mark? Uh, okay. Okay. So the collapse, it's still not evident to me when the collapse happens. Sonoy said something about conflict that didn't actually mean anything to me. Uh, I have failed every single time, by the way. I have rolled bad every single check of this game. Um, on captures mostly? Yeah, but that was a capture, right? So it's got to be on capture. It is, so it's got to be when a super positioned piece captures a non-superpositioned piece this game makes more sense to me than 5d well la di da <laughs> all right uh eventually we will win <laughs> this doesn't bode well all right we got there eventually they make equal sense to me as of now five like 5d chess i understood within like moments of it being explained to me. This one, still no. I really like games with probability. Try to reread the measurement section. Let's reread the measurement section. Uh, Andre, Andre, Andre has suggested something. Let's reread the measurement section. Okay. Uh, let's do it together. Why not? Anytime a move targets a square that is occupied by a piece of a different type and color. Anytime a move targets a square that is opposed that is occupied by a piece of a different type and color the game will perform some measurement this means it will look at certain squares on the board to determine if they are occupied or empty this could cause some of the superposition to collapse so that pieces are no longer in superposition This could cause some of the superposition to collapse so that pieces are no longer in superposition. Measurements are designed to answer a specific yes or no question. If the answer is yes, then the move is performed. If the answer is no, no further action is taken. And play passes to the next player. Note that in this case, the state of the board will still be changed through superposition collapse. But the move doesn't happen? If the answer is yes, the move is performed. If the answer is no, 
then the move isn't performed? That's the implication, right? Why would that happen? There are two different measurement scenarios to, to consider. Okay. So capture, during an attempt to capture, uh, the game will, uh, will measure the square occupied by the piece that is being moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The measurement answer to the question is, is the attacking piece present and can it reach the target? The answer is no, it doesn't mean that the attacking piece is not necessary, so it could be no for either reason. Um, right. I'm with you. It, okay, it is weird that they word it this way. But I think I understand what's being said. So it's, it's if a measurement isn't performed if the move targets a square occupied by a superposition. It's only if a move targets a square that isn't in superposition. Is that true? Uh, let's see. I think the measurement was worded differently in the vid that I watched. Uh, hold on. Um, how do you split a piece? Control right click. Um, the way that I split the piece is by clicking the piece and then clicking a target square and holding and then dragging my cursor to another square that I want to split it to and then releasing and then it goes to those two. Uh, suppose you had four quarter knights. L let me try to explain the weak kind of superpositions here. Suppose you have four quarter knights. Couldn't you implement this game by hiding actual position of pieces instead of performing RNG calculations? Mm, possibly, hold on. There's a, oh, if the answer is no, the move wasn't allowed. Oh, now I understand. Okay, gotcha. I, now I understand. There's a quarter, there's a one and four for you to actually take the king and keep your knight on that square. Suppose you had four quarter knights and you try to take a king with them. There's a one and four for you to actually take the king and keep your knight on that square. There's a three and four for you to lose the knight and keep the quarter knights in place. Maybe they're changed to one and three knights, third knights. Is that true? Is that true? We're gonna play more of it. We're we're gonna crack on. Hopefully that will come up in the puzzles. Hey, Tim just subscribed with Prime. Thank you so much, Tim. What a guy. Uh, two month streak. We're making Barsak. Uh, maybe you'll get one. I don't know what Barsak is. Uh, Barsak in Turkish <laughs> means intestine. Uh, but that's probably not what that is. <laughs> uh, I uh, Maybe you'll get one. Hey, whatever it is that I'm getting, uh, <laughs> it, it is free and I am excited by the possibility. Uh, I, I guess I guess there's a quantum joke to be made there, but thanks so much. I appreciate it. Either way, the idea is to actually play. Maybe I'm wrong. These things are clear when you check them all out. Yeah, okay. I feel like the, a lot of our questions will be answered by continuing to continuing to play the game. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Wait to play. Try to capture the opponent's king in two moves. Ah, uh, king v king, of course. Okay. So I mean, we probably split the king to these two. To these two places right no because then promotion happens question mark and you can, okay well i mean the only by like process of elimination this must be oh hold on hold on hold on i want the i want the kings to defend each other right so i can recapture the king that captures my king uh like this right okay oh that's a queen it frustrates me that the queen looks so much like a king, but whatever. Give it more prongs. Come on, guy. Okay, so now we try to take the king, and a measurement is performed. We got the... We got We got it. We Thank God. All right. We won the first coin toss of the day. Wow, that was weird. It, does it still make sense to everyone who thought they understood how it worked? <laughs> Yes. All right. He got a half queen and a half pawn. Yeah, because it, it he only gets the queen. Like, the move only happens. Those are all the puzzles? Oh, dude. Okay. 
congrats, you scammed your opponent. Yeah, something like that. He got a half queen and a half pawn. Yeah, because if the knight, if the king wasn't there, then the move wasn't allowed. Um, which is weird. Didn't we just see entanglement? I don't know if we did. I think it's still fake entanglement. So now I posted a game code. All right, I expected more puzzles. I guess we'll join the game. <laughs> All right.